Hi, Al here with a, a few updates uh, with respect to my Google Meet attendance extension version 1.4. Um, this one is predominantly a, an update that uh, tweaks some of the, the visuals uh, in, the, in the Meet dialog. I guess starting at the top of the dialog, I've added a new pause button that will temporarily turn off the uh, the attendance tracking. If you if you're so inclined, press the button what button once to pause it, press it again to restart it. I've also changed the visuals for these um, these little filters here, um, and uh, these will allow you to quickly see you know who are the students who are present, who are the students who have joined your meet but were not expected there, their names weren't already on your class list. Uh, who is absent, click again to get all everyone back. And then this new um, button that is uh, the MIA or the ghosting button. And uh, these are people who joined the meet and then left. And so they, it's just a, you know, a quick visualization to, to show you, um, you know, who was there and, uh, and, uh, and then perhaps left as well. Um, I've also changed the, the bars behind the student names to give you, again, a bit of a clue as to you know, who's been there the full time. So my, my name is Solid Green. You can see me. I was there the whole time. This student was very late. So there's that little lighter green gap over here on the right-hand side. And then the bar ends. They've also left early because I've been ghosted. Um, this is a new student who wasn't on my class list when I, when I started the meet. And so uh, because I have my do not automatically add option selected on the, uh, uh, on the settings tab, uh, I get this little plus sign that gives me a choice as to whether or not I want to actually add them to my class forever or just have them here for this meet and we'll, um, then they'll disappear the next time we come back into the class. And so there we have it. Here's a student who arrived. They left fairly early. Um, hopefully this just gives you a, a better um a, you know, another quick way of visualizing, you know, what's going on in your classes and, uh, and to give you sort of a, uh, an in-meet update, visual update, rather than having to wait till the end of the, of the report and uh, um, see, the, uh, see all of the, the bars and such in the HTML reports. Um, last thing here in terms of the, um, the, the reason that I have those little green plus signs is on my uh, settings tab. I have disabled the auto add uh, new students checkbox. And so the students will appear in the meet. They've joined, they're on your screen. Uh, they will appear in the, in the report. But then when I close this meet and shut down out of the browser, well, then they don't get automatically added to my class list. And that's something that you might want to do uh, once your classes have settled down. In my, in my situation, we're wrapping up our, uh, our second quadmester today. And uh, we start a new one on Monday. And so on Monday, when I create my new classes, I will have this checkbox selected so that my students automatically get added. And then after a couple of days, once, uh, you know, once there are no class changes and so on, I'll deselect the button so that uh, if, if things accidentally get uh, added or whatever, um, it doesn't pollute my, uh, my list. So uh, there you have it. I will be updating this to the, uh, the Chrome Web Store shortly and uh, it will arrive in your inbox. Uh, just one little thing to make note of, um, Google will send out the update to the extension at probably the least opportune time. It probably will happen when you're, uh, when you're in a meet and the, uh, the extension gets updated and you know that it's been updated in the background and I will sort of fake this here for us now. I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna update my extension. I'm gonna come back and then if I click on the dialog here, I can't let go. I'm stuck um, with it, and that indicate that's an indi surefire indication that Google has updated your extension. I don't know how to fix this problem at this point. It's something on the to-do list. Um, the best way to uh, to uh, resolve the problem is to hit a uh, an F5 or a Control F5 if you've got function keys, uh, or a Control R to reload the page. Once the page reloads, then everything will be copacetic. Now, unfortunately, you will have kicked yourself out of your meat, um, but the, uh, you know, it's, it's not working anyways. The, uh, um, it's grabbed onto your, uh, onto your uh, mouse and won't let go. So uh, you might as well just, you know, kick yourself out and, and come back in and, and have everything working properly. In any case, um, 
I, I wish I could solve that in a better way, but at this point, I really don't know how to do it. So uh, thank you. Uh, as always, take care, stay safe, and uh, please uh, provide your feedback to, uh, uh, to the Facebook page or uh, via email. Take care. Talk to you soon.